we all want to improve our communication skill so is there any method to improve our communication skill yes so this method which i am going to tell you will help you in your interpersonal communication like if if two people are talking to each other interpersonal communications okay in your group communication if you are talking to a lot of people in a group it will help you in your meetings okay in if you are public speaker and you are talking to around 100 to 500 people this will help you if you are teacher and you want to engage the audience if if you want to engage the student this method will help you if you are a college professor this method will definitely help you if you are even in a relationship if you are married this uh, if this method will exactly help you so what is this method this is vac system the vac is the vac acronym is visual auditory and kinesthetic we stand for visual a auditory and kinesthetic so you must understand there are three types of people okay so people have different learning style they learn through different method some learn through visuals when they see they learn it some learn through hearing when they listen they learn it and some learn by doing it when they do the things when they experience the thing they learn it so when you learn thing by looking at it by seeing at it you are visual learner so when you learn thing by listening to it you are auditory and when you learn thing by doing it by practically doing you are kinesthetic or physical so let let us get gets into more details okay so there's three learning style visual auditory and kinesthetic when you see and learn you are visual when you hear and learn you are auditory and when you move and do things you are kinesthetic or physical so when you use the word i see what you mean you are visual you are using the word see look appear so when you when you using the word i see what you mean you are visual when you say it's feel to me i i can feel it you are kinesthetic or uh, physical when you say i hear what you say okay you say i listen what you say then you are uh, auditory so let's take the music analogy when you like to listen something in order to learn something you just listen to it you are more of auditory type no you don't want to listen you want to watch the videos okay you want to see see the things you are more you are more visual type okay no you don't want to listen or hear you, you have to you want to do the practicals thing you want you want to do the hands on approach then you are more kinesthetic or physical for example you are teaching some subject let's take the example of biology so the student in the class the professor is giving a lecture and when he is giving the lecture or he is he or she is teaching uh, like how the cell work okay so when the professor is giving the lecture and some student can learn through lecture some student can understand what the teacher just say they can learn by the words of the teacher when they can learn by the words of the teacher they are auditory okay some student want to see the picture of the cells okay when they see the pictures of the cell when they see the graph the images of cell they can understand it better they are visual learner but there are some people who, do, who don't want to listen to the lecture who don't want to see the images but they actually want to go to the lab and experience it and feel it how they actually cells work then they are physical and kinesthetic so there are different types of no more how you find what type of person is like you want to cook something okay you go to the internet and just see the recipe and read the and the follow the recipe you are more of visual you read the recipe and follow it you are visual okay now uh, you want to cook something okay you want to make something okay now what you do you don't go to internet you just call your mom okay you call your friend and ask her or you ask your friend how to cook this recipe okay how to cook this food then you are more of auditory you are not uh, reading on the internet and you are not calling anyone you are just going to the kitchen and giving it a try you are just experiencing it how can you can make it so you are physical or kinesthetic sort of person so let's let let us take one more example like you are operating a new machine let's say you uh, you have bought a new washing machine and you want to operate it okay how will you do if you read the instructions then you are more of visual learner When, when you call someone and ask for the question, how that, how that, how does it work? How it actually work? Okay, you are more of auditory, or you just 
uh, switch on the button and just operating the machine. You are just using your hands and, and muscles. You are physical, then you are more of a kinesthetic person. So there are various learning styles. So in, in case of communication, you have to use this learning styles. When they use your learning style, the listener will be engaged more in it. You will understand you better. Okay? So let us take more more real life example. So there is a couple out there, husband and wife. Husband is auditory. He loves to listen to things. And wife is visual. She loves to see, watch, imagine. Okay. Now, husband said to the wife, I love you dear. I care for you. Okay. I like you. I care for you. He keep on saying that. He keep on saying that. The, but the wife is visual. She does not does, does, doesn't understand her husband. Okay. She does not feel special. She does not feel that her that her husband like her because she is visual. Now what the husband needs to do? Husband need to be visual. Now he, how he can be visual? He has to show love. He has to show how he like. He has to show how he care. Now how can he do it? He can he can he can he can give her the gift. He can take her to the restaurant. So the moment the husband gave her the gift, show the show the love here and like. And the, and the moment the husband take her to a restaurant, she will feel special. She will uh, feel here because she or both she is of more visual type. Okay, when you show her, she will feel more special. Okay, now take one more example. Now this time husband is visual and wife is physical. Now the husband is is taking her to the restaurant. Okay, the husband is taking is, is taking her wife uh, is is giving her wife various gift, but the wife is not feeling special. The wife is not is feeling that she is not being cared. She is not being loved. To so what the wife want? Wife wife want the practical experience. She want to be physical. So she want to be touch and hug. Okay. So there are various speaker out there. The various communicators, public speaker, coach, speaker out there who are using all these learning styles in their speech. So when you are presenting your speech, okay, what you have to do? For auditory, you have to stress on the word for auditory. And for visual, you have to show them, show them images, slides and diagram and graph, all those things. Okay? And for kinesthetic or physical, you have to involve the audience in some activity. So keep in mind, when you are interacting with anybody, you have to use all three approaches. You don't have to miss any of these. So when you use all these approaches, your communication style will be perfect. Okay. So thanks for listening to me and have a great day.